Hello and welcome to Project Confetti Kids. My name is Felicia Wright and I want us to talk about helping our kids be confident and grow in their own confidence. So um, I wanted to talk about that today because um, it's something I struggle with as a parent and I know what to do sometimes, but it's just so easy to fall back into constantly helping. So let me explain. So to help our kids be confident in the things that they do um, for themselves and for others, we have to give them to the space to do it. So for example, um, think about a baby and a baby takes a tumble and it could be a soft tumble, but if a mom or a dad is constantly grabbing the kid, it's like, are you okay? Are you okay? The baby starts to think it's like, oh, well, if I take a tumble, something's wrong. And they might not have the confidence to continue to try to walk. So let's bring that up to kids in school, right? So when I had kids um, in my class, sometimes I'll have kids that like are so worried about getting the wrong answer that they won't even try. They will look at it and it's like, okay, what's the answer? And it's like, I want you to try. Okay, but what's the answer? And it's like, no, you try. It's like, well, I don't want to get it wrong. It's like, it's not the end of the world if you get something wrong. Like, I there for some reason we've we've got gotten caught up in this whole perf perfectionist game. So like for kids, it's like they're always striving for the perfect A and everything has to be right. But in the grand scheme of things, that's impossible. Not everybody's good at everything. So if you put me, if you gave me a medical exam, I would not pass it. I would get every single thing wrong. So it's, it's not okay for us to have this expectation of our kids to get every single thing right because then it's really a blow to their confidence and they don't even want to try anymore so us as parents as adults even not even just parents as, as adults in children's lives we have to get out of the space of like everything has to be right um, don't take a tumble you might scrape your knee we have to let them do that we have to let them fly on their own and it's so incredibly hard trust me i've got two babies and sometimes when i see them fail it, it kind of it's like a a punch to the gut a little bit it's because i don't want them to fail but in the fail they learn so much more than i could ever teach them so i have to remind myself and even my husband as well it's like okay let them try just let them try and that's my reminder today just let them try on their own and if they get something wrong or fall and scrape their knee it's not the end of the world they tried on their own my three-year-old always wants to do things for herself and then sometimes grandparents my husband myself like we get caught up in like oh I'll just do it for you but we're really taking away the the chance for her to do things for herself and then in that space, she starts to think like, oh, well, maybe I can't do it for myself when she really can. She really can do it for herself. So that's really what I want to say about confidence. We have to let our children try because us doing things for them all the time is a real blow to their confidence, a real heavy blow to their confidence. And it doesn't help anybody because eventually if we continue to do that, Next thing we know, we'll have a teenager on our hand, on our hands or a young adult, 18, that wants us to do everything for them because we've been doing that. And then we look at them, it's like, no, you're an adult now, you gotta do it for yourself, but they weren't taught to do things for themselves and their confidence is gone. So just keep that in mind. Um, that's what I wanted to say today. So I hope you're having a great day. And let me know in the comments below, how do you help your child be confident in themselves? Do you let them try at their homework? Uh, do you let them take tumbles? I know I let my babies take tumbles sometimes. Like if it's within reason, like if they're on top of the couch or something, it's like, okay, they're not gonna really, really hurt themselves. But if they're really gonna hurt themselves, I'll stop them. But if it's just, if I know it's gonna be a small scrape, I just let them go and, and they'll learn for themselves. So. Let me know in the comments below and I'll see you tomorrow.